everybody, this is Praxis, and today is day 365 of this project. Uh, it was 365 days ago that I first kind of started. At that point, I already kind of had the design, I had the land acquired, uh, and I started the permitting process, but the land here was just completely raw forest, and it wouldn't be for a couple of days that I'd even start with a chainsaw to come in and start thinning trees. So this is 365 days later. What I'm doing today uh, is uh, starting work on this level. I, there was a huge pile of lumber here. Uh, a bunch of 12 foot boards were here and there were a bunch of 16 foot boards along this wall. Josh and I had uh, moved all that stuff downstairs yesterday so that's all piled down in an area where it's really not that much in the way. It's awkward because it's a big pile of wood you got to walk around but it's not on top of or in front of anything that we need to get access to. So got all that stuff moved out. There was a bunch of just scrap behind you, just random odds and ends kind of stuff. And I got that all kind of organized over here by length and by, by uh, you know, uh, lumber type. Uh, that's gonna be helpful so <coughs> as I need stuff, I can very easily see what I got in if I, if I'm looking for a board that's this long and there's one, I can find one that's just a little longer than that, I can use that instead of taking something that's a little longer and cutting off more scraps. So I can be much more efficient knowing what I've got. What I've been working on today in terms of actual building and not just shuffling around the materials is uh, this wall right here. This is, <coughs> this is going to be a, either a really big closet or a compact bedroom uh, in this area. There's going to be a doorway. Uh, right through here. Uh, this is the only section of wall in the entire uh, project that is being made at anything other than a 90 degree angle. And the reason for that is uh, this is going to be a larger bedroom in here. And I felt like opening up this wall a little bit would not only just make this area feel kind of more open and uh, you know let the light and the air move through better, but also if you need to carry anything large into this bedroom, like a bed, a uh, bed frame, you know, dressers or anything of that type, kind of coming through, um, if this wall was like at a 90 degree angle right here, it would be a little bit awkward, but by opening it up it makes it really easy to just bring things in and out. And I, like I said, just generally like to kind of feel the space with that kind of opened up, it really opens up that area over there. So uh, that was a little complicated, it's always a little more complicated when you're working with angles that aren't 90 degree angles. Uh, but I got it all kind of laid out. I know exactly where my studs need to go. And at the moment, I'm just kind of cutting them. And if you guys remember my procedure for doing that is taking one of these guys and setting it down where I have it marked that there's going to be a stud. And I lean it up and mark it where it needs to go. Now, this, uh, this place here is actually going to be a little additionally difficult because it's stuck right underneath the floor joint. So I'm going to have to kind of probably stretch a, a, a line across to kind of simulate this floor joist and then I will uh, I'll build this in and then I'll just build up the little wall above it, uh, you know, on this, uh, smaller pieces. Uh, I could do it all as one big piece, but I think that would just be needlessly complicated and a lot easier to just build it in two parts and put them up like that. So that's what I'm working on today on the birthday one year anniversary of starting this project. And I wouldn't be nearly as far along as I am without Josh's help. Thank you very much, Josh. You're welcome. He's been really awesome, and uh, it's not as lonely either. It's not as lonely. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching.